morning. How you guys doing? We're at the garden and uh, today we're going to be putting in T-posts for trellis netting. Uh, we're going to be putting tomatoes on it, cucumbers on it, cucumelons on it, pole beans on it, and maybe some squash. Uh, I apologize in advance if the video is a little shaky. Uh, I left the house in a rush this morning and I forgot my tripod. So I'm just holding my phone. So it's going to be a little shaky. I apologize in advance here. So, all right. So flip this camera around. You can see what we're working on. All right. So here's the plan. This is going to be the cucumber bed. So we're going to start putting in T-posts at that end. And then we will stretch out the trellis netting. And then we'll install the T-post at the end of the trellis netting. That way we can guarantee the trellis is nice and tight. And then on here, we're going to do the same. We're going to start down there, T-post, stretch out the trellis netting. It's going to come to, I don't know, five feet from the end or something. And uh, same. And then here, we're probably just going to run half a length of trellis netting because we have other things we need to plant in here because this is going to be my Romas and San Marzano's for spaghetti sauce and chili. And this is going to be cherry tomatoes and uh, larger tomatoes here. And uh, if you're wondering, that's going to be peppers. So we're going to start. So we have options when you're working with, uh, when you're working with geotextile cloth like that, you can use a good pair of scissors. You can use an X-Acto knife. And I also bought a little mini torch. These are really handy. I'll probably use these when I'm doing all the holes for the cucumbers and the tomatoes, but just to cut the holes in the geotextile, I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors because it doesn't have to be nice. I'm just gonna cut an X and ram the T-post through. This is what I'm using to hammer in my T-posts. It's a homemade pole pounder. It's thick ass pipe with a piece of plate steel welded on the end if you buy these they normally come with like a horseshoe shaped handle on both sides so you can grab it but uh, this was just made in the shop so this thing weighs like 20 pounds so you don't have to hit it real hard to drive them in and we've already see look at that we already just put one in easy so when you get your trellis netting in a package it comes all twist it up in a big blob so you're gonna have to the way I've found the best way to do it is to just find the end start at the top attach the top corner we're gonna use zip ties and then uh, we'll just bring this down low and uh, then we're just gonna stretch it all the way across and then attach it at the other end and untangle it as we go hey guys I made a friend I say hi Hey, little fella. Little garter snake. Totally harmless. Awesome to have around in the garden. He is totally welcome to live here. We'll put him back in the long grass. There we go. There. Now he can eat all the little bugs. So what we've done is we've run it down the T-post. Tied it off nice and tight with zip ties and then, so you can use the holes, right? But there's no more holes. So if you tighten down a zip tie, sorry for the bad light, and then you just crank it down real tight and that's not gonna move. So these are eight foot T posts hammered in, I don't know, 12, 14 inches into the ground. And then we're gonna stretch that out and figure out where it's tight and then put the T post in. Well, we got it up. So it's 30 feet long, stretches out to 30. So we put a T-post in the center. I measured it at 15 feet and we've got it to there. Now, I don't know if that gap is going to be too long to hold up all the tomatoes. But what I can do is uh, I'll go see Andrew over at Johnny Genetics and he has eight foot long pieces of bamboo. So I may just go there, pick up some eight foot lengths and drive them straight down in the center, right? And then uh, I'll just zip tie the trellis netting to the bamboo and that'll just help stabilize it. Because we're gonna have, I don't know, 50 plants or something across here. I'm not too sure, I gotta work that out. Well, if it's 30 feet, uh, 30 plants. 
we're going to do a plant every 12 inches. So we're going to have roughly 30 plants across here. So that's the plan. Now we're going to uh, move on to the cucumber bed, which is back there. So it's super easy to work with this stuff. So all we're doing is we're lining it up with the T-post from the other trellis over here. Get your box cutter. And all you need to do is just a small X because all we need is a hole big enough for the T-post, right? And because we don't want weeds to come through. So the smaller the holes, less chances we have to deal with weeds. Well, this is what we are at here. So we have a 20 foot trellis for the large tomatoes. And I've coiled up the extra on there because they're 30 foot lengths of trellis netting. And then we have a 30 foot here for the Romas. And then right here, we have a 20 foot, and that's gonna be for uh, cucumelons are gonna go here. And then pole beans are gonna go there, yellow and green pole beans. And then we're gonna do bush beans in that little bit of soil there. And then we have a full length for cucumbers because we have four different types of cucumbers we're gonna plant here. And they're all held on with zip, with uh, seven inch or seven and a half inch zip ties. I've tried to use the smaller ones in the past, but they're thinner and they tend to break when these things get loaded up in the summer. So uh, another thing I'm gonna have to do here is after I put this up, I realized I'll show you here, walk down. You see how this is sagging in the center? And I haven't even put tomatoes on it yet, right? Now it's partially sagging because of how I had to tie it, but once I load this up with tomatoes, it's gonna start pulling it down. So I'm going to get some eight foot bamboo and I'm just gonna run eight foot bamboo and then I'll just tie this off up as high as I can onto the bamboo and that'll keep this from from collapsing you see under the weight how I can just pull it down well once we start putting 30 or 40 tomato plants on it it's going to fall even more but I have time because the tomatoes aren't going to grow up onto it that fast so I'll back off here you guys can see so one two three and four and that's the tasks that I just plan on completing now and uh, we're going to head home and have some lunch so you guys should follow along for the summer if you're not subscribed you're gonna love what we get going on here and uh, so hit that notification bell smash that thumbs up hit the subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment and if you could share this out I'd appreciate it have a good one grow good food see ya